week four already in the Sims 4 Reaper's Reward event. This week, there are five total rewards, but only three are new. So the Metallic Freezer Bony Collectible, the Life and Death Tattoo, and the Portrait of Lady Mimsy Auburn Chalet in the Garden. I'm not sure what that means, but those are the three new items that will be entered into cast and build by after you've completed this week's tasks. Of course, there are two activities, Death's Favorite Flower and Flirting with Death. So under Death's Favorite Flower, you start off by talking to three plants. You can just use the plants you already have in your garden if you've planted things from the previous weeks. And then they want you to research Ambrosia. I had a hard time doing this. It said you could research it on tablets, phones, or computers. My sim didn't own a tablet, and I couldn't find the option on the phone, so I ended up doing it on PC. And then step three is to graft a pomegranate to an orchard. So you're like, I don't know how to do that. Me, honestly, I never use a gardening skill in The Sims 4, mostly because it's always glitched. But I did do some research on the Sims community.info and they said to get the pomegranate in the orchard. Number one, you have to take a cutting of a lily plant and graft it to a snapdragon plant to produce the orchard. To get the pomegranate, you have to graft an apple plant to a cherry plant. Then you take the orchard plant and graft it to the pomegranate plant to get the death flower. Um, I will be honest, this did not work for me. So I don't know if it's glitched or if I just did it wrong with the grafting, but I had to end up paying. So if you go through the phone option under the home icon, there's an option that says buy a death flower for 1300 simoleons. You can also find death flowers by fishing. You can find death flowers if you have the level 10 gardening skill and can do the rare seed packets. So it really just depends where you are in your game and how many skill points your sim has. For me, I just paid the 1,300 simoleons and got the plot that way. I would recommend regardless to still try it and see if it works in your game. But yeah, I couldn't get it to graft. Or it grafted, but it wouldn't grow the right plant. Like it even acknowledged that it was a spliced plant. And I would water it and I was fertilizing it. And I was, you know researching and i don't know it just never produced the orchid or the pomegranate <laughs> so i couldn't go forward that way so hopefully they patch that in in the future you know sims for a patch because it's a little frustrating to give us an event that we can't complete correctly um and then under the flirting with death activity you have to get the ambrosia society newsletter which just randomly comes in the mail your sim reads it It doesn't really provide a lot of information, to be honest with you, but that seems to be an activity every single time, every week. Then you have to cook a meal while level seven cooking skill or higher. My sim started off as level five cooking skill. So for me, I had to level her up by reading books and cooking a bunch of meals to try to get her to the level seven so she can complete the task. Flirt or socialize with Grimm. I just socialize with Grimm because my Grimm Reaper is not into women. So (laughs) wasn't an option for me to flirt with Grimm. And then finally fulfill an aspirational goal. My Sim is a romance aspiration. She's, you know, really into romance and having multiple partners. So for her, the goal was to just have two partners or more. So I completed that and that filled that goal. So that was pretty easy. Like I said, it took about two days in in game in The Sims 4 and about 30 minutes in real life to complete, just like the last couple of weeks have been about the same. Let me know in the comments below how you're feeling about the event. Now I feel like it's dragging um, and I'm starting to lose interest. I was more interested the first two weeks than I have been the last two weeks, but we only have two more weeks to go. So hopefully this will kind of wrap up to some sort of conclusion and then we can enjoy the new expansion pack that comes out on the 31st.